Ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you please take your seats at this time as the program will begin momentarily. In this video, I will share with you how I use a different form of peer assessment, peer review, in a course of research methodologies for master's students in aerospace engineering. This is an example of how one can use peer assessment in a simple way, for formative assessment in a combined work-based and online learning setting. This two ECTS course is mandatory and is typically completed by students in conjunction with their literature study for their thesis and other early thesis preparations. The aim of the course is to introduce students to formal research methodologies to help them set up their thesis research. Students are taught how to use established general research principles, such as formulating a research objective, research questions and a research framework to help structure their independent 9-month research project. The main deliverable of the course is that students must write a research plan that forms the starting point of their thesis. At TU Delft, students can start their thesis at any time during the year after they have completed sufficient courses to start on their thesis. This means that starting times differ from student to student. Also. Many students do their thesis in industry or in external research institutes, either in the Netherlands or abroad, as this type of work-based learning is very popular with students. As a result, a regular live face-to-face -face delivery of the course is not a fit-for-purpose delivery method. Therefore, the course was designed as a self-paced online course using the university's virtual learning system. This, however, posed one problem. Despite students being very keen on the online flexible format, they did miss the ability to get feedback on their preliminary deliverables, such as their research objective, formulated research questions and draft research plan. At the same time, with more than 350 students completing the course each year, giving individual feedback to each student would almost be a full-time job for a lecturer. Therefore, we employed community strategies from online and distance education to have students give feedback on each other's work through peer review. We deliberately made this a voluntary exercise as this solved any issues with students unable to respond timely due to their personal constraints. To keep it simple, we made use of the built-in discussion forum option in the virtual learning environment. This option is present in every virtual learning environment, making the transferability of this case to a different setting much easier. During the course, at various stages, peer review steps were built in in this way. Students were, for instance, asked to post their research objectives and research questions for feedback. In turn, they were also asked to give feedback on previous posts by other students. As a lecturer, I would keep an eye on the discussion forums from time to time and correct incorrect feedback, as well as ensure no inappropriate feedback was given. I would also give feedback on the few attempts that remained unanswered in the quieter period of the course. To arrange for the peer reviewing of the draft research plans, a slightly different approach was used. Students who wanted a review partner either did so within the context of their own circle of fellow students working on their thesis, or within their research group. An online option to find a peer review buddy was also created for those who preferred finding a partner that way, using the dedicated Find a Review Partners discussion forum section. In a short video within the course, students were explained how to give constructive feedback and a simple checklist was made available through the online learning environment to aid in the giving of feedback. The course has been running in this format for more than 10 years now, and both students and staff are happy with the review possibilities in its current form. I hope this video helps in showing you that setting up peer assessment to aid formative feedback in a course doesn't always have to be a high-tech, software-intensive exercise. Creating a safe place for constructive discussions, explaining to students how to give constructive feedback when reviewing each other's work, and providing them with basic checklists as scaffolding can be all that's needed.